Hello, my name is H Z. This is the third part of my Unify device、uh, temperature series.、Uh, today, I'm going to talk about how to use SNMP to monitor your Unify devices'、uh, temperatures. Here we are in Unify controller, and first, <coughs> let's. Enable SNMP. So SNMP is simple network management protocol.、Um, most computer devices or、uh, network devices、uh, support this、uh, protocol. So let's go to settings. And one thing is currently. I'm using the new user new user interface, so that SNMP setting is not available here. At least I couldn't find it. So the way to find it out is to switch back to the old in user interface or so-called classic user interface. Okay, so now we are in system settings. So to switch back to the Old user interface. You check here, and then it will refresh. It's slightly different. Then go back to the settings. Here you go. You have the uh, services uh, menu item. On the top, you have different services. Click SNMP. I already enable it. So basically. Your Unify switches support、uh, V1 and V3 as an MP. So because this is just my、uh, home lab, so I don't care about the authentication part. So I chose the simplest V1 version、uh, of as an MP. So basically,、uh, you just need to specify the community community string. And then that's it. You simply enable it, and you apply changes. Where? Because here you simply switch on the SNMP of your devices, so it's ready to report all different types of information to something. But you need to install the management sort software, so so that you can receive or retrieve the information, right? So, I'm using the、uh, free version of Observium. So it's called Observium Community、uh, uh, Community Edition CE. Okay. So you need to input your username and password. Okay. So now maybe we can talk about a little bit about the、uh, Observium CE. So it's a Free software, and you can easily install on a Ubuntu desktop version, and <coughs> it will keep running and receiving、uh, all different type of information, and recording the information into its own database, and then you can retrieve whatever it recorded using this. Web interface. So, so basically, once you switch on your <coughs> Unify switches、uh, SNMP setting, you can go here devices. You say add device, <coughs> and then you simply provide the IP address of your switch, and then here you choose V1. If you in the Unify controller, you chose V1, and then here you provide the Community string. So basically,、uh, I use public as my example, and then you don't need to change anything else. Simply add device, <coughs> and then it's added. So the whole process is super easy. So once you add the device to your list, you can go here all devices, and then here <coughs> I list all the devices monitored by Observium for now. The from starting from this server to 
this server, they are unified switches. But interestingly, as you can see, four of them are showing the uh, unified icon, but two of them are simply showing a generic Linux server icon. So what are these two models? They happen to be the two non-pro version. One is the USW aggregation, the other one is the USW24G2. So apparently, Ubiquiti doesn't treat the operating system for these devices equally. Okay, so now let's pick this one, the USW Pro aggregation as an example. It is a 28 uh, aggregation switch. Okay, so once you are in this device, there are a whole lot of different uh, informations. And in this video, let's focus on the temperature and the fans. So let me click health. And here I can see temperature and the fan speed. Click temperature. And then there are different type of chart. Let me click this one. Okay. So here you can choose the different time range. And here you have the uh, beautiful chart. So just by looking at the chart, you can already find many interesting information. For example, for this time period, it's running pretty stable because it's night and nobody is using anything. So there's no fluctuations at all right but here <coughs> you can see nothing because this morning I was taking a video so just to avoid all the server noises I shut down this server and so observer was not running that's why it didn't receive any information <coughs> but starting from this time I opened the server, uh, uh, switch on the server. And as you can see, the temperature is a little bit higher than last night because when I switch on the server, I closed the my server room store. That's why the room temp temperature was a little bit higher. That's why the device temperature was also higher, right? And then starting from about this time, I open the server room door. That's why the temperature uh, was reduced. Okay, and here you can see four different uh, lines because observer received four different temperature sensor readings from the switch. Okay, <laughs> and yeah. Because this is a server, it's running in background, you can collect all the runtime information and it will be saved. It will be ready to be displayed in this user-friendly chart, right? And now let's go back to the fan speed. Okay. See here, the similar situation uh, for this switch I have, let me switch on the legend. I have four different fans and for same reason, last night, this morning, this afternoon, right? You can see the huge fluctuations here just because the room temperature was changing. To be honest, I like this method most because you have an easy way to check the historical information. Because for either the SSH or the download device info uh, methods, you can only get that times data. And you won't get historical data. The unified switches, they don't record any historical data. So you have to rely on external network management software. And as I already mentioned, just to install this Observer C edition is super easy. And to add your switch device to the server is also very easy. So I 
recommend this method. Okay, thank you for watching.